and welcome back to What Remains of Edith Finch. We just finished Sam, I believe, so we're moving on from there. That was a sad ending, and uh, I had to end kind of right on that, because my camera had been dying at the time, but we're moving on now. So, ooh, little door. All this while she's pregnant, like... Meal ready to eat. That must be for, uh, oh, well, for the camping. Oh, I was going to say Walter. Up and at him. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got pretty close. They both lost a lot. Yeah. So I'm still confused where the mom and Edie are related. Oh my god, that picture's terrifying. my thing more for some reason. I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> there we go. Oh. oh, I'm the frog. Hello, I am the frog. Wee. What? No, no, that's not how it works. Take your goddamn child out. Bubbles! I got bubbles! I got- ooh! I got one! <laughs> so cute and exciting! Come at me, bubbles! Come, come, come! Oh god, to progress I have to actually get these. Keep the whirlwind going. When I was younger, my dad used to help us do this when we had a pool with my brother and I. And you get so caught in the current, it was so much fun, and then you try to go back against it. It's a good time. Keeping up, keeping up, keeping up. Yeah, conduct us. <laughs> gotcha. Saved you, little buddy. You're welcome. So this is like a family of hallucinators. Like. <laughs> I think, can we, what else can we do? What is it looking for me to do? Oh. There we go. It was like, you're getting stupid. Let me just guide you on what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I can't see. Okay, I need to get to the soap. I'm being challenged right now, early on Tuesday morning. Or no, what am I talking about? On, early on a Friday morning, <laughs> so far. Okay, um. I can't get around to that whale right now, okay. Ducks get out of my way. All these chicks be hoeing. <laughs> not a good conversation given the situation okay okay y'all need to get out of my way before I have a panic okay jump jump froggy why froggy no 
Chicks, are you kidding me? Get out of my way. Oh yeah, just freaking insult me by being up there. Well, I'm not. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This is gonna be a long time. The music restarted. Like, I think there's Got it. But I worried about the baby we could be having. You're slipping away. Sorry about that, Gregory. I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Why would you just leave him? in the tub what the why would you just leave him in the tub that's so stupid well then how is it their fault how is this possible if he's imagining the frog that is a very fast filling bath also, by the way. Mine is not like that. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. We're stuck on an E. The thing is, it's only letting me go forward, so... Okay, here we go. God, I have such horrible goosebumps right now. <laughs> Ooh, like a <our> goosies. <laughs> Poor kid. What a sad, like, some of it's so interesting, but you have to remember that <coughs> even with the interesting story, it's like er, someone died, you know, and it's some of the stories, though, are just so sad. Oh, that's cool. They have little lockers. Dawn. So I guess that's her. We shared a room with... I can't imagine my mom would allow you to torture me like this. Well... A poem for dust. To all of <coughs> Our father never could have stood us. At least not very hard. Before the day my brother said his teenage disregard. That he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in my yard. Yeah, it can be hard, I guess, when... Because I, mean, I imagine, obviously, it's a remarriage. If he already has kids. Oh my god, I'm so bad at these things. I'm really sorry. <laughs> like, venturing around, I can do that. But going about trying to get this to do what I need it to do, that's a whole other ball game. It's sad because it's a little bit harder, obviously. Hey, nailed it. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met me, you don't need a stepmom, in other words. I know, I know. Husband and wife. Take him out with the kite. Take him out. Take him out. No, apparently not. I guess he was a no go on the marriage. No go on the marriage, yo. Oh, hello.
Hello. Found it. Oh my god. Gus. No. No, yeah, it's a hard time um, dealing with that kind of thing, and I have an idea of what that's like. And, um, you know, when your parents separated or so you lose one or that kind of thing. And then the idea of uh, having a step parent, obviously. In some cases, it works out. People prefer it. Um, but in other cases, it can be hard. And depending on your age, it can be hard. And this looks like an edgy. The young boy got his studded wristband. Oh, nailed that one so much better. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's like a family of hallucination. Like, they all just kind of... Well, it's not schizophrenic. That's more audio. I don't even know. Yeah, I know you want me to play this out, but I don't know how to reel this in to take out this tent. So... Oh, okay. You left your son outside, though. Like, amongst what it is, you could try talking to your kid, or, you know, at least, like, find a way to bring them inside. I'm, why would you leave them outside? You're asking for something bad to happen, like. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Jeez. But I didn't. Until we found you. I guess so many goosebumps playing this game. <laughs> she never talked about it, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to call me Gus. Interesting seeing uh there's a young Edith at the top there, or does she mean herself? Duties, Don, sweep trash, gosh, mop, mow yard, Greg, be a baby. Jump rope. Interesting. Raise flag. Raise flag. Breakfast, quiet time. Interesting. Oh, oh rock wall, My mom and climbing wall. In your own, uh, that's so cool. So Sam was who? And if I can remember who Sam was, then I understand who Edie and them were all related. She spent the summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Hmm. That's so cool. Look at the old computer and the phone and everything. <laughs> God wasn't helping you, was he? We're helping hands create safe places. Wow. Fly to India. Now there's Don Finch. Ten ways to teach critical thinking. Hmm. 
religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after he passed away. It was a little sad. She got to her brothers and stuff. Man. Where to next? Oh. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born in Romania. Lewis. That's the one who's missing, right? Or no, it's no it's not. It's the other one. Something with an M Mercer <laughs> Surgeon. I don't know. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Milton. So, does the curse just extend to married-in family? Because I feel like that's something you want to mention to someone then. Oh, they each had their own little gardens. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. Yeah. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Aside from, yeah, teaching at home. I don't know. I guess that is, I don't mean to say that as if it's not normal. People do uh, teach from home. I just mean, um, you tend to, or I would have thought, the average is going into, into a school rather than holding up in a house. But I suppose, you know, if you've got a mom for a teacher and you've got a curse to all die, but I kind of wonder where the... Where do people get the income, the money for these kinds of things? Like you hear about it in games and movies and all these sort of things, TV shows even. It's like, where is the money coming from? It's like my main gosh darn mystery. Beginning with the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Hmm. So cool. This is a cool one as well that I remember seeing. Oh, there's land out there. Now I need an inn. I forget which side has like the. Can't really see. Window, window. We need to climb up. Oh. Hello. Okay. That is so cool. What a nice little thing. It reminds me of Lighthouse, and I love lighthouses. Oh, I like the music, too. Alright, up we go. What was it pointing at? Oh my god, so cool. Milton Finch in The Magic of Birth. Wow, that's so cool. What an artist. Yeah, it's like, where did he disappear to? But it's almost like the family really is magic. Like, not just hallucinating, but they've got magic going on around them somehow. Like, it's, it's just weird. Maybe the curse is, you know, cool magic powers, but you die young or something like that. Alrighty, I think we go, we want to go down probably, don't we? There we go. Hello? Oh my god, you need me to walk all the way around, alright. Mom spent months searching for my brother. I'm 
much inside the doors. I wonder how sealing the doors was supposed to really help anything. Okay. What do you want next? Did I miss something up top? What did I miss? Or you can just go back up? Whatever Milton had found in the house. Mom didn't want to get it out. Hmm. I'm wondering how we start his story or if it's after that we do that. Or maybe, oh, no, no, no. You know what I'm thinking of? Um, there's another game that came after this one. I think it's part of this one. And it was basically, uh, like, his journey through, like, this colored, like, drawn world sort of thing. It's really, really cool. Um, that would be another one to check out. But uh, maybe I'll do that one. But that was... But yeah, that that's definitely an interesting one. I was confusing it with showing up in this. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. And so mom got him a job at the cannery. Everyone always tells him to stay out of Lewis's room. <laughs> Except Lewis. Get that hookah. Not going up that way. Uh, okay. I want in. It's so cool the way they put like these different rooms, and it's like such, like they were the masters of DIY. Like holy crap. Yeah, it's got a strong smell. <laughs> so cool, and like the music they've thrown in. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Mrs. Fink, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly <coughs> after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Nearly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. It's he kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew past. I need a bigger uh, mouse pad there. Good In our God. Sessions, I saw the same behavior. Did you have yeah, the letters? <laughs> Look so small, um, but they're actually long stories. Wonder. I asked him to describe it. He started small. Hmm. Gotta get into the hang of doing this two at a time there. Imagining a labyrinth. Everybody daydreams. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. You kind of do fall into the rhythm of it, though. It's just the arrow keys are a little farther for me. And things that have not moved. He knew it was all in his head. A 
confused by that fish there. Sorry. We took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. Yeah, this would get uh found something more. This would get monotonous, that's for sure. <laughs> this is all you did. I mean if you could listen like a podcast or music or something, it wouldn't be so bad. Daydreaming at the cannery. I've been obsessed with a podcast recently and I uh, well, a little while. Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Jeez. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. Hmm. Give me my fish. I even encouraged. It seems like this letter is a lot longer than what it was showing on the paper. It seemed very promising at first. Happy! He told me he'd made a new friend. Hello. Come with me, puppy. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Hope. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Hello. Then he made musicians. Here we go. Hello. Hey, woo, we're dancing. Yay. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. That's so cool. And he was always humming as he talked. Hey, you can make music. Or write a book. Why don't you just have him write a book or something? Conduct some music. He no longer spoke at the camera. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Sorry, stuck. Then one day it struck him. That all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet. Oh my god, fish. Sorry, this. There we go. What is happening? There's like a block or something. We're all in his imagination. And it won't let me get past. I don't know what's happening. Maybe I, I broke it, the game somehow, but it won't actually let me get past here. I can't actually lift any fish. I don't know what's happening. All right, we'll just keep playing as this, I guess. I know we can't. I think it's stuck. Oh no, I don't want to have to do this all over again. Are you kidding me? Let's try pausing. Play. I'm not sure what it wants. Okay, let's take the stairs. Oh, thank God, I was just confused. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. He 
conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Lewis here. St. Louis. We have a St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. My nails are too long, I think is my biggest issue as well. Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Oh god, you can see her kind of in the background and she's just getting blurred out. In Lewisville, he heard rumors of a handsome queen. Handsome queen. That's pretty. The queen was on her own quest for radiant rainbows. Hope there's unicorns after. I've gotten so oh shoot. I've gotten so into it that I am expecting the fish. I really thought I wouldn't be able to kind of multitask it, but then you get into it. Electric sitar. Electric sitar. Like it really teaches you slowly how to become um, just subconsciously doing things and, and into its world. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. But sometimes you like the imagination more. That is a thick queen. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something. Interesting how he still has the fish involved. success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. Where are my fish? And Interesting. He could do that all with his own brain. Was not the one chopping sand, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. Oh, it's because I can't even see. Uh, it was hard to argue with him. Poor Lewis. I'm gonna guess this is us. Same poster. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Jesus. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. He's not even doing it anymore. What am I supposed to do? What do you want? Can I go up here? Why 
What am I supposed to do? I still thought I could oh. save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of Wonder. Wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Do I even have to be moving right now? I don't think so. Including the wise Calipers and the insisted on advising. Oh. Ah, Molly. We have a calico, actually. Ours is black and orange, though. I was gonna take the side, kind of ruined it a little bit. Sorry. He's square. Oh god. For some reason, I thought it was his hand. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. I'm so sad. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. I was gonna say I think we should leave it here, but and more just because it's getting long. Otherwise, I just love playing this game and want to keep playing it. <laughs> but I'm starting to wonder if we're getting to the end because I think we've run out of people. On the way back from Louis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell you. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I think she was scared. Her room. The neatest rooms. Well, it's a ladder. But it had to end somewhere. It's got like three you beds. Now, like to tell you about that last night. Why did we shrink all of a sudden? No. Also, I realized when I was editing the first episode, um, she's like seventeen and pregnant. Apparently, the whole last day, I forgot they'd said that. Just watched us pack and didn't say a word until supper when she raised her glass and said, "To our final night together, and all our final nights apart." Grandma, do you know what I said about oh, Grandma? Some of your medications are very Even specific. I left the presents in the hall. Why don't you go get them out? The grown-ups have to argue. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last. I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. But did she eat? The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had to make water. When oh, the mom library was. I was gonna say, how does she, but she must have unlocked it. Otherwise, I was gonna say, how does her mom not know? <laughs> and the barking starts. Oh 
god, so mean. I almost made it through this without him barking, but hey. History of the Princess. Oh yeah, one more. Come on. Move. Why are you... The controls are like backwards. I'm not sure which one is forward. Oh, I have to walk backwards. I'm an idiot. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm backwards. I got it. I'm backwards. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. Why did we do that? Why was that a thing? Why was that a, a miniature segment? That inland earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. So this will be a bit longer, but it's. Rounding up to the end, it's kind of an awkward amount of time. Yeah, I guess I'd be going out to it too, but it's such a risk. Trying to see if we're old, Dee I got turned around. Surprising she didn't die this way. Seems uh, old Dee lived the longest. Unless the mother is still alive. I started seeing things. Okay. Yeah, apparently you all do. Forgot about deer? Then I saw it for myself in my own time. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Oh, here we go. Or maybe I came back to them. Amazing, the gate's still intact to open up. to say it's weird some of the choices her uh, mother made I'm not <laughs> we both tried to the best of it not a big fan a few years went by story to come into the world. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. 
But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. Appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. God, we're being born? This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. I guess I can live in this now. Things didn't work out that way. One thing to come into the world, you're gonna grow up not knowing and then eventually get this journal, hopefully, I guess, and then hear all these stories. It's like... Jeez, because if you don't have her left to tell them to, you're not going to find this out is until where later. your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Oh, jeez. It's even harder watching it at the end after you play it through. For sure he does. Because, you, you know, watching is one thing, but when you play it through and you go about it your own way, and, uh, ugh, you got so many, like, shivers and so many emotions. It's such a great game. We finished the game! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woo! Finally finished the game! Um... <laughs> So these are just going to come out as a stack recording, I realize, because I, I played it all through and I'm just going to keep uploading them. But basically, um, I'm so glad I played it. It's such a different experience when you play it. I didn't really remember everything and the order of everything. Um, but it's such a great game. Oh, my apologies. So I would definitely recommend it is a different experience to play it yourself. It's so fun. There are so many different animations of it and going through it. Um, maybe, you know, you'll be less stupid in certain parts. <laughs> um, but it's interesting because I haven't actually finished the game and then, uh, explained it. I pretty much explained a lot of how I felt kind of in the moment. There are some parts that really kind of, like, made me jump, maybe, you know, emotional, maybe happy, things like that, and amazed and excited. And it was just, it was such a roller coaster and a whirlwind, and I'm so glad that I played it and went all the way through with it because it was a really, really great game. Um, I would definitely recommend it. It's awesome. It's on Steam. Uh, I forget how much it was. I think it was like 20 something. But uh, yeah. Oh, thanks Joanne if she's in unlocked. Or Hoan, Hoan, Joanne. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, such a great, great game. Such a cute, oh, little switches. Such a cute, um, charming, sad, emotional, uh, really draw you in kind of game make you think about you know the curse and the story and, and the whole thing and how all of them seem to have that sort of hallucinating thing in common it kind of makes it seem like you know there was something going on like really going on not just like one person was crazy or something um it was such a neat adventure to go through i'm really really glad i got the chance to play it and see the story for myself again and play it myself it was a really really good time um, I definitely like the dreadful stories. That was one of my favorites, and uh, yeah, it was just what a what a charming, beautiful, well crafted game and story. That would be what I'd have to say about it. So I don't know how long these credits are, or if I just leave them sort of play out. Um, I do. I guess I'll mention. I do hope to eventually do something maybe with Twitch. That would be cool. Um, but it's not like there's much of a following with me right now, so I, I, I don't know. Um, okay, maybe just have recordings up there eventually at some point. Uh, I've also got the podcast I've got going with my friend called Kavana. That is going to be on the channel as well, and I'm hoping to post more to this channel. Um, just because I've been enjoying it so much, it's become a really big passion for me to do it. Regardless of how it turns out, I'm enjoying it. So, and I think that's what you want to do. You want to enjoy what you're doing. So that's what I'm going to do, keep doing that. I know I've been, I get busy with like school and work. Work has gone down a bit. School is still pretty busy and hectic, but 
Um, I just made such a passion project out of this that I keep working on it. Probably a lot more than I probably have time for. <laughs> but anyway, that's uh, that's gonna be pretty much it. Um, I'll let the these kind of credits play out, just because they're so interesting. Seeing like they're so they did such a good job with where to put all the fonts and to do everything, and I just think it's really really great. So. <coughs> great music, great game. I love the design and the lettering and everything. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. Really, really nice. Such a beautiful art game. The replayer story option is now available. Select Edith to play from the beginning. Very cool. Um, so you can replay the stories, it looks like. But anyway, yeah. That's going to be it for me. Um, thank you so much for watching and going through this journey with me if that's what you did. And uh, check out the game yourself. It's on Steam. It's great. It's a lot of fun. You can replay stories, make different choices. It's nice. There is still, um, at least with Lewis's story, there are some different choices and things like that. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a game you can play again. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And don't forget to keep on wondering. Jump, Beady, jump! Alright. Guess not. Not very adventurous of you now, is it? Oh, I'm just going through the leaves here. Is there a path? Oh, yeah. Look, right in front of my face. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Makes a good story. What?